We're here. We're back with uh, some food. We got some canned dog food and cat food too. This is part of San Rafael PD's new safe team. We tagged along with crisis interventionist Priscilla Ferreira and Juan Hernandez as they hit the streets of San Rafael. We have some shirts and stuff too. Do you guys want shirts? Um, One of their first stops of the day, this homeless encampment. Um, they offered folks food and water and told them about their work. We operate under 911 now. So if anyone contacts like police for you guys instead, the safe team will come. Yeah. Today was the ribbon cutting for San Rafael's new mobile crisis response program. The idea is that instead of police responding to low level calls related to mental illness or homelessness, now the safe team will. San Rafael police officer Jennifer Gamble is helping integrate safe into the department. I think that traditionally uh, first responders have been police, fire and medical and maybe we were missing something there. And so we're hoping that the safe team is sort of the fourth tenant of that and that they can intervene on those types of calls. An example is this incident last year where a San Rafael police officer picked up a man who was dealing with a mental health crisis and brought him to a neighborhood in San Francisco. Police say with the safe team, the response would have been different. We would call the safe team immediately. They would be able to connect. The safe team would be able to connect them with the resources needed and transport them to the places that needed to go and free up the resources for police officers to do other things and more handle more priority calls. The safe team will work in partnership with San Rafael Police. We saw firsthand how that would work this morning when the safe team responded to a mental health call at City Hall. But the situation escalated and police stepped in to intervene. Um, it became evident that this particular subject and at this particular time was going to need a, um, a higher level of intervention. That's necessity. But not all calls rise to that level, and that's where the safe team is hoping to help. Thank you for like opening up your area to us. Liz Kreutz, ABC 7 News.